Hi, I'm Qin Yang Wang. I'm a postdoc researcher at the Department of Food Bioprocessing and Nutrition Science. This talk is about my own research, which is using plasma-activated water as a food sanitizer. Safe, high-quality, and nutritious foods are essential for human health. But sometimes the foods we love and count on for good health are contaminated with harmful bacteria, viruses, parasites, or chemicals. According to WHO, contaminated foods cause more than 200 diseases, ranging from diarrhea to cancers. It was estimated that almost 1 in 10 people in the world fall ill after eating contaminated food, as the number was over 600 million per year. So it is very important for the food industry to reduce the risk of food contamination throughout the production chain. Currently in the food industry, chlorine-based sanitizers are the most widely used due to the low cost and the minimal impact on food quality. However, the use of these sanitizers raises safety concerns due to the generation of potential carcinogenic residues and other hazardous byproducts. Therefore, developing novel sanitizers as alternatives to chlorine is desirable for the food industry. One of such promising sanitizers is plasma-activated water. Let me first introduce what plasma is. Plasma is what is called the fourth state of matter. There are the solid, liquid, gas, and the plasma states of matter. It is partially ionized gas generated by applying a high level of energy to the gas. When plasma is brought in contact with water, plasma-activated water or we call it PAW, is generated. PAW contains a diversity of reactive species that were transferred from the gas plasma to the water as antimicrobial agents. Compared to traditional chemical sanitizers, PAW is less harmful to the quality of food, the workers, and the environment. Also, PAW can be prepared on location and on demand thus reducing the risk associated with transportation and the storage of chemicals. However, the application of PAW to foods still needs further investigation. The aim of this study is to apply PAW as a sanitizer to real food products. We use grape tomatoes and the chicken shell eggs as a model food and the salmonella typhoid murine as a target microorganism which is one of the severe foodborne pathogens associated with fresh produce and poultry. We use electrical energy to generate plasma from air and prepare pore by exposing water to a plasma jet. Foods inoculated with bacteria were immersed in the pore, chlorine, or water for two or five minutes with shaking to simulate the washing process. After wash, the load of bacteria remaining on the surface of the foods were enumerated, and the quality of the food were also evaluated. We have observed significant reductions in the bacteria load on both types of foods after washing with paw. We found that the effectiveness of paw was comparable to chlorine. Also, there were no detectable surviving cells in the spent wash paw indicating the cross-contamination is not likely to happen, which is very important to the food industry. The color and the firmness of foods after washing with paw were also well maintained over a storage time of seven days. So the conclusion is, paw is an effective sanitizer for food safety and preservation without compromising the quality. In the next step, we will be evaluating paw on a wide range of foods and foodborne pathogens. We are hoping this technology can be upskilled and benefit the food industry in the future. Thank you for your attention.